Florida State University's School of Dance is one of the finest in the country. How that came to be is the story of Nancy Smith Victor, who we'll meet on tonight's Southern Circuit. For 25 years, Nancy Smith Victor has been busy building a dance place at Florida State University. What she's accomplished is the creation of a dance department ranked among the best in the country. One, two, three, four. That's all on four. Okay, spin on the left. Five, six. And a two foot jump, which is the definition of a jump. As soon as I got my master's in English, I was hired, I think on the next day after I got my master's, and it was a surprise to me. I, I was hired by, to teach dance here. It was then in physical education. And I did that for five years, and I would keep going back up and studying. And I was, I guess, working out then whether I was going to try to make a dance life in New York as a professional dancer or make a, a place to make dance. 20 years ago, a professional dance training center in a university was simply unheard of. Serious dancers went to New York. Today, thanks to Nancy's hard work, FSU's dance department is among the country's foremost centers for dance training and education. It took a lot of developing the acceptance and the recognition of the importance and the validity of having a major art center you know, on the campus. It all, I've been very lucky because I have had some really enlightened administrators to work with who've been enormously supportive and wonderful faculty. Florida State in particular um, has a wonderful dance program and um, an extremely supportive um, chairwoman, Nancy Smith Victor who always has her eye on the Graham company because she was trained in the Graham technique. She has great respect for what it can do for her students. Not everyone who comes through these doors is going to join a major company, but the level is at that, the, the sites are at that level, and those that don't have been involved in that kind of atmosphere and they teach on that kind of level themselves if they go out to teach or to choreograph. When you can have a faculty that have people like Peggy Lyman on it, uh, Maria de Barrancelli, Richard, you know, the people who are significant, active, practicing artists, uh, but also wonderful teachers. If you, I mean, I think the greatest design project I do probably is try. I mean, not. I mean, the greatest challenge is trying to design a staff that has that set of balances in it. Then you can produce professional dancers. You give them professional uh, training and you can get uh, professional dancers and a place where you can develop choreography and repertory. Last December, after a 12-year sabbatical from performing, Nancy Smith Victor delighted the audience at FSU's annual Eight Days of Dance program by performing in a piece entitled Mother Ring. I loved doing it. It was pretty scary. It was being very much on the line because you've been training and working and directing dancers and all of a sudden you're in their position. And uh, the piece that I was in was choreographed by Sharon Holland and I have had enormous trust in, in her. I thought she did a fine piece. And when she approached me about doing it, I had said, and I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't being facetious, I said, yes, if it has, if it requires very little technique, and because I don't have that anymore, but lots of angst, because I do have that, you know, it was a pleasure for me. And pleasure for Nancy has taken on new meaning. At 53 years of age, she claims she's thoroughly loving her midlife crisis. This May, she'll celebrate her second anniversary since marrying FSU faculty artist Robert Fichter. You know, I have the feeling, God forbid, if anything happened to Robert, that I'd probably go right back to the way I was living, which was alone. But it's, uh, it's been wonderful and surprising and a real rich thing that's happened 
He's, he's the most interesting person I know. You know, in addition to loving him, he's also just the most interesting person I know. So we always have a lot to talk about. See, the thing is you have performers carrying out your work. So you have human instrumentalities yeah. carrying out your So work, you have right? to be dependent upon them mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I like your idea of when you were performing of being able to rush out on the stage and fix things well, up. But if you're performing you think I can if something happens I'll cover, I'll do right, this. Yeah. I think something has happened here and I'm glad that I have been part of that. Um, I want to go on making pieces. I want to go on having that kind of active life. I also uh, want more quiet time. I want to see some other parts of the world more than I've taken the time to be. Lucky, yes.